Hey guys, what's going on? Your boy TH back with you with the Bell's Two Hearted Variety Pack. Next in our series, I just had the Hazy Hearted IPA. Now I'm going to try the Big Hearted IPA. This is an Imperial IPA, essentially a double IPA. Um, that's kind of the same, kind of the same thing. It's kind of synonymous with like a double IPA. As you go from double to triple IPAs, they become a little, you know, I, I think I ex explained this a little bit in my last video, but, you know, as you look, your double will have higher ABV, maybe more bitterness, um, and uses, you know, maybe a bigger variety of hops and whatnot, maybe a little bit darker in color, a little more fuller body, kind of a different kind of uh, mouthfeel and flavor profile and what have you, but uh, basically just a stronger beer. But uh, this is the Big Hearted IPA, Imperial IPA. This is a new kind of offering from from Bell's. I have not had this yet. Um, I had a couple. They had the regular Two Hearted in here, and I had a couple of those. And I've drank tons of Two Hearted before. I remember uh, going to my cousin's wedding, and they had Two Hearted. They had a keg of Two Hearted, and I had a few of those. And I was feeling pretty good, pretty good. And normally I despise going to weddings, but I was having a good time there. But uh, let's crack this bad boy open. All right. These sunglasses are extremely uncomfortable. Extremely uncomfortable. Oh! But uh, as my voice fucking changes. <coughs> All right. But this can is cracked open. Let's get a whiff of the aroma. Can't really smell much of anything. I just kind of smell the dish soap I use to clean out this mug. But, uh, whatever. Whatever. Let's give her a pour. Nice yellowy hue. Looks like a lot of other, uh, IPAs. Ooh, I think I'm pouring it. Not the best. Okay. Oh, well, that's not bad. There's barely any foam in there. So let's take our first sip. Ooh, that's got a bitter, more alcoholic taste to it, definitely. Oh, definitely. Um, ooh, lordy. Ooh, lordy, that's a thick beer. That's a thick beer. Oh, hell. Uh, but let's take another sip. Yeah, you don't really get, you get the bitterness. I don't know if this is. It's a little bitter. It's not like overwhelmingly bitter, but uh, it's definitely a full-bodied beer, and that needs an accompaniment with a cigarette. Mm. Uh, oh, you can definitely feel it. You can definitely feel. It. Let's get have a couple more gulps of this. Yeah, that's pretty alcoholic. Yeah. I'm not picking up on much fruit. I'm getting more of a hop flavor. I'm not sure what varieties of hops they use. As I said before, I checked Bell's website, and they kind of just... It's it's more of a... It, this is I, I say this is a piney kind of beer. They kind of talk about like the aromas and whatnot. They don't really tell you the specific hops they use. Hmm. You go on, there's this website called beeradvocate.com, and they got, like, kind of reviews of these kind of beers. Most of this stuff rates pretty highly. Everything from Bell's rates highly. It's in, like, the 90th percentile. So you really can't go wrong. If you're an IPA guy, I mean, you could drink, you know, you can find yourself a $6 can of some kind of, you know, a double IPA with, like, hints of vanilla and nutmeg and lemongrass in it. You know, you can you can buy that kind of stuff. It'll be high ABV. You know, it'll be eight percent or higher. But or you can get you can get a trusted a trusted brewery like Bell's, a big you know Michigan Midwestern brewery. You know, and sometimes it's it's a safer route to go because you never know what you're getting with some of these other beers. You know, I mean, this is I mean for the price of this, it's probably about sixteen, seventeen bucks. I think it was seventeen bucks I paid for it after taxes. So you get twelve beers with it. 
That's like a buck fifty a beer or something. Um, not even. But you really can't uh, really can't beat those prices. You know, I, mean, I got to start checking out more variety packs and whatnot. We got a little less than half a glass left. Let's see if we can polish her off in the next couple of gulps. Oh, oh! You can tell when you drink enough beer and you have enough IPAs. Uh, you can tell just by a few sips, like what's the high ABV stuff. This definitely hits you. It, it's a harder hitting beer, like the initial kind of taste in your mouth. You know, it, it, it hits you a little more heavily. The, you know, as far as like the mid palate. Uh, you kind of get a hoppy taste with it. It's not especially bitter. Finishes fairly clean. There's not much of an aftertaste. But, uh, yeah, it's definitely, it's definitely decent. Like, if I could find a tall boy of this, you could do a lot worse. You know what I'm saying? But, uh, hee hee hee. Oh, feel a little loopy. Feel a little crazy but uh let's cash this bad boy out oh uh, yeah oh uh, kind of you know i was explained before as you kind of drink more beer as it kind of coats your mouth and throat and you drink more of it you know more of the same glass and it kind of the flavors hit you a little bit differently you know but uh good Ooh, lordy. Oh, this is, this is good. I like this. Ooh, I'm getting a little drunk here. Getting a little, definitely, oh, definitely, uh, definitely buzzed. Uh, oh. oh, excuse me as I burp repeatedly into the camera. Mmm. But that was Big Hearted IPA, um, a new offering, newer offering from uh, Bell's, part of their Two Hearted line, part of this variety pack. Um, not a bad investment. If you're a beer fan like me, I mean, I was excited. I saw this at the party store and I'm just like, I have to buy it. I have to buy it. You know, it's one of those things, like, it's like essential to my being that I buy this variety pack of beer. This has been uh, Hazy Hearted, no, 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 Big Hearted IPA, whatever it's called. Uh, but yeah, you can find it probably any party store, you know, maybe some bigger retailers would carry it, you know, at, in a beer, in a, in a beer heavy state like Michigan, it's easier to find, but if you're kind of out in the sticks, you might have a little trouble tracking it down, but uh, I think you can order it online too, but uh, yeah, I'm going to leave it there. Like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know your favorite beers. If you have any beers you'd like me to try, leave them in the comment section down below. I've been TH. You have been watching my show. Thank you all. I appreciate it. Um, more beer to come. My liver isn't dead yet. Um, but you all stay safe out there. You all have a good week. It's Monday. It's just, it sucks. Hope you don't have a case of the Mondays. But uh, I will talk to you guys later.